This is the video for lesson 25 on my website, Patterns Involving Multiplication. Let's take a look at a simple pattern. I'm going to write 1, 2, 4, 8, and I want to know what comes next. Now, the first thing that we should look for is an addition pattern. Do we get from one number to the next number by adding in some way? And for this problem, we can easily see that the answer is no. To get from 1 to 2, we added 1, then we added 2, then we added 4, so the pattern breaks down. It's not a pattern involving addition. If that fails, you should typically check to see if it's a pattern involving multiplication. And in this case, we can see the answer is yes. To get from one number to the next, we simply multiply by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and continuing the pattern, 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, that's pretty simple. Let's take a look at another example. I'm going to write 1, 3, the next number is missing, then 27, 81. Again, we'll do a fast check just to see if this involves addition, and it's pretty easy to see that it doesn't. To get from 1 to 3, we added 2, but to get from 27 to 81, we would have to add a very large number. So this pattern can't possibly involve adding a constant number uh, to each item in the pattern. What that probably means is that it involves multiplication. Let's take a look. 3 is 3 times as big as 1, and if we go over to here, we can see that 81 is 3 times as big as 27. If you weren't sure, you could just do the actual multiplication, 27 times 3, and you would see that you get 81. What that tells us is that this is a pattern involving multiplication by 3, and to get the missing value, we can just do 3 times 3, giving us 9. As a check, we should make sure that 9 times 3 gives us 27, which it does. So we're correct. One more example. 1, a missing value. 25, 125, and 625. Okay, this pattern is growing very quickly, so it's very easy to see that it doesn't involve addition. As you would expect, it involves multiplication. Just like before, we can easily see what number is being used to multiply each value, and we can see that that number is 5. Therefore, the missing value is 5. 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125, and so on. What we're working with here in these problems is called geometric progressions. A geometric progression is when we multiply by a particular value to get from one item in the list to the next. We multiply by the same constant number. So in this, in this first example, we always multiplied by 2. Here we multiplied by 3. Here we multiplied by 5. Those are called geometric progressions. Now compare that to arithmetic progressions. That's when we add the same number to get from one entry in the list to the next. We saw that in the previous lesson on skip counting. What we did was we kept adding 3 each time, or we kept adding 4 each time. But the key thing was it involved addition and not multiplication. This lesson is quite easy. Just make sure that you're very comfortable with seeing patterns like this, and we'll work more with them in later lessons.